So you're starting a podcast, but you have absolutely no idea how to create one of those intro thingies for the beginning of the podcast. You know, the thing that welcomes people to the show with background music and sounds all exciting. Well, the good news is in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create one in a software, a free software called Audacity. In an effort to get people excited about your podcast when they press play, having a professional intro for the show is extremely important. Now, I use the word professional lightly because, well, you don't need to be a professional to create a podcast intro. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a podcast intro in a free software I like to call Audacity. Now, you don't need to be a professional podcast or audio editor in order to create a podcast intro in Audacity. However, you do need some basic understanding of software. You need to be able to download the software, be able to open the software and navigate around it accordingly. I'm going to give you a very basic podcast 101 basic way of actually creating a podcast intro in Audacity. Disclosure, I am not an audio editor. In fact, I don't enjoy the audio editing process at all. That's why I farm all of my work out to audio editors to do. But I know there's some do-it-yourselfers out there, and I've done several intro videos in the past on the channel here, and I wanted to make sure that I cater to specifically the viewers that are watching that are PC users, because Audacity can be used on both a Mac and a PC, usually a PC because a Mac has GarageBand, very comparable auto editing software. Now, this is not going to be a professionally done intro. This is going to be a demonstration, before all you keyboard warriors out there start going crazy in the comments, it's going to be a very basic demonstration on how to record a voiceover in Audacity, how to go find royalty-free music to put it on that track, and how to export that to at least have a basic intro. A basic intro, meaning not professionally produced, is a lot better than not having an intro at all. So let's move over to the screen share as I jump into Audacity and show you just a quick hack on how to get an intro done right now, like today. Let's get started. It's the Audacity website. And right here, you're going to see Download Audacity. Just go ahead and click there, and you're going to get three options. Well, three of the main options. Windows, Mac, and on the unlikely event you're using Linux, there's a Linux option. But you're more than likely on a Mac or a PC, so just choose one of those. Click either one that works for your machine and follow the download process. Super simple, basic download software protocol. Once you've downloaded it and you open it up and go through the whole making sure it's downloaded onto your machine, then you're going to go over to Audacity and you're going to open it up. And this is what you're going to see. So if you've never seen Audacity before, maybe you're a Mac user, you've seen GarageBand before, this would be the PC version of GarageBand. It's an auto editing software. So you can make music in here, cut voiceovers, record podcasts, anything audio related can be done through Audacity. I discovered this software about six years ago, and this is when I started to understand exactly how auto, auto editing works. And I also decided at the same time that I do not like auto editing, and I will definitely find someone who does. However, based on the channel here, we're talking about podcasting and every facet of podcasting, and podcast intros seem to be some of the most popular topics on the channel. So I want to dig back into how to create a podcast intro, but this time I want to make sure everybody, not just GarageBand users, I've done one on GarageBand, I've done some podcast intro examples, I've done how to create an intro on anchor.fm, never done Audacity. So we're doing Audacity now. So first things first, when you're creating a podcast intro is you've got to actually create the intro. So you've got to record the voiceover for the intro. Now, before you hit the record button, I highly recommend that you take out a sheet of paper, pull up a notepad on your computer, and you actually write a short script. Now, I'm not talking about a novel. I'm talking three to seven sentences that will include what your podcast intro is going to say. This way, you've got a sheet of paper in front of you before you hit record, and you're not going to have to do 900 takes and then try and figure out when you or what you said previously when trying to nail the actual intro. So, Get out a sheet of paper, pull up a notepad, write down your intro. Well, what does that sound like? Well, an intro is welcoming somebody to the show. Hi, my name's Bob Smith. Welcome to the Bob Smith Podcast. This is a show about this, that, and the other, and I'm really glad you're here. Let's get started. And there's music playing in the background. So that's essentially what a podcast intro is going to do. Now, the outro 
is telling people goodbye and thanks for listening. Right now we're focused on just doing the intro. So I'm just going to do a quick example here. I don't have any set script, but you definitely should because, well, it's the intro for your podcast. So just write something out and then get into recording it through Audacity. And how you do that is you want to make sure that Audacity has chosen which mic they're utilizing. In this case, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro and how they're hearing audio. So audio, how you're hearing it, and then also how you're speaking it. So your output and inputs are very important to make sure that they're set up and you don't want to make you don't want to be using your computer microphone when you can be using a condenser mic or possibly a USB mic. Whatever the case may be, you want to double check uh, in those settings right here. You can also go to preferences just like you would in like a Zoom or a Skype call. Uh, your playback, uh, the recording, the devices, any of this stuff in here that would affect you recording. If you're familiar with it, change it. If not, feel free to leave it alone. But most important under preferences is devices. And you're going to go playback device, Rodecaster Pro. That's how I'm listening. And the recording device, Rodecaster Pro. Now I've got a pod mic into my Rodecaster Pro. So that's why it's just reading Rodecaster Pro. If you're using a USB blue snowball or a blue Yeti, it's going to be in that drop down list. Playback, if you're just using a USB mic and you have headphones into your laptop, the playback's going to be MacBook speakers. And then your recording device will be whatever the microphone is, as you can see. My, my MacBook microphone, that's the one that comes with my, my laptop, not very good. Uh, I've got a webcam that has a microphone, not very good. And then I've got a couple of different cameras set up. But for this, for this purpose and for audio recording, obviously I'm choosing the Rodecaster where I'm using my pod mic that goes into the roadcaster so make sure these settings are all correct otherwise uh, audacity is not going to work correctly for you it should recognize whatever's already plugged in so you don't need to go into the preferences you can just choose them right here but you'll want to double check and make sure so the, all you need to do is simply go in and say check 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 mic check one two three four and then you go back check 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 mic check one two three four so there you go. You can test it out and make sure that you can actually hear yourself, that you he you sound good, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So let's pretend that I was actually, I have a script in front of me and I'm going to record my intro. Hi, I'm Sebastian. Welcome to my podcast. This podcast is about podcasting and I'm really glad that you tuned in. This show is going to teach you how to do this, that, and the other. I'm going to have conversations with interesting individuals that know about podcasting too. So we're glad you're here. Let's get down to it. So that would be essentially the voiceover, right? So if we went back and listened to it. Hi, I'm Sebastian. Welcome to my podcast. This podcast is about podcasting, and I'm really glad that you tuned in. This show is going to teach you how to do this, that, and the other. I'm going to, all right, so you get the idea that I'm, I just created an intro script just on the fly for example purposes. Now it's time to add music to that. Now you cannot just add whatever your favorite song is because there's things like copyrights involved that, will flag your intro or your podcast in general. You don't want any of those problems. What you want to do is you want to go purchase or find royalty-free music. Now, I always recommend going to a website like audiojungle.net just for the simple fact that they've got a library of well over, as you can see right here, one million tracks and sounds from a giant community of musicians and sound engineers. So what you would do is you would go and click on music, and whatever you like. I always like, if you're doing it for a business podcast, maybe you want to start with corporate because there's tons of music to go listen to. And all you're simply doing, as you can see here, 16 bucks, 11 bucks. Now, these are one-time fees that you pay, and then you own the song. But you don't need to pay any more than 15 or 16 bucks. I mean, maybe if you want to spend 20 bucks, it's entirely up to you. But there's plenty of different music available for 5 bucks, 8 bucks, 10 bucks. Just find something that you really like, that you feel would really jive with your podcast and podcast intro and you'll be using this for the outro too that'll be a different video but you'll be utilizing this music for it as well but you can go in and you can just sample these mu these songs oh that's cool. audio jungle audio jungle so those are some examples you go over to audiojungle.net don't spend more than 10 15 bucks you don't need to 
See, in fact, there's some of them are free. And you can filter all those out, and you can choose whatever you'd like. But go ahead and buy the song. They'll give you several different versions via a zip file once you purchase them. And then you're just going to go back over to Audacity, and you're going to add another track right below the audio track that you just recorded. So you're going to go in here, and you're going to choose. Let's see if I have an audio track here that I can utilize. And. Here we go. So I'm going to take an audio track. I'm going to throw it right here. That's going to be right below. Now, there's going to be some tweaking that needs to be done to this because you're going to have to turn the volume of this track down significantly. And how you do that is you see right here, plus and minus, pretty self-explanatory. L and R, that's left and right. So don't change any of that because it's going to make the sound go into the left ear or the right ear. So you're going to, going to want to just bring this down significantly because if we put it up at the middle, you're not going to be able to hear yourself talk. Now, you don't need all of this music right here because it's the intro is only 17 seconds so I probably need like 20 seconds of music May, maybe maybe 23 because I'm going to put a couple minutes in the beginning a couple minutes on the end right so let's just hear what this sounds like I am Sebastian welcome to my podcast so it's still way too loud and I need to bring myself up too so and if I'm going to go over here, I want to move this a little bit because I want the music to play just for a little bit. So I'm going to take the arrow and I'm going to start it. So I could probably start it right about here. So all I did was cut and then paste. So if I go back to the beginning here, the music plays a little bit and then this starts. Hi, I'm Sebastian. Welcome to my podcast. This podcast is about podcasting and I'm really glad that you tuned in. I'm talking ridiculously fast just because I'm running through this in demonstration purposes, but obviously don't talk as fast as I was in that example. There is no rush at all to be able to do this. So there's certain markers and stuff you can do on here that you want to make sure that you don't, that don't halt the editing process. See, I dragged the blue over a little bit. It's just going to play just the music and stop the file versus all of this the voiceover is not playing yet, and the audio is. That's the idea. So, I am Sebastian. Welcome to my podcast. This podcast is about podcasting, and I'm really glad that you tuned in. This show is going to teach you how to do this, that, and the other. I'm going to have conversations with interesting individuals that know about podcasting, too. So, we're glad you're here. Let's get down to it. Okay, so I would probably want the music to stop right about here, and I probably want to fade it out. So I'm going to go, I'd have to go figure out the settings and, and, and how that all works on here. You can adjust the track. You just want to make sure I'm on track one here, I'm on track two here. So if I'm adjusting the settings here, all you're doing is highlighting the track, and then you can go in here and you can select different options, uh, different effects, uh, different tools you can add on to it. You maybe want to fade the music out, fade the music in. Again, this is a very basic explanation of how to create a podcast intro in Audacity. Sound, a sound engineer or a professional audio editor will know how to get in here and tweak everything accordingly, but this is a do-it-yourself. I want to download the software. I want to give it a shot, Sebastian. How do I actually go and do that? So there's various things you could go to add on to that, but I, I wanted to explain the basics of exactly how an audio intro is created in Audacity, and that is recording the voice track, adding a music track, and then exporting the file. So what, let's just say that we were done with this. I can export it as an MP3 or a WAV. I, I recommend either one of these. So I'm just going to click Export on here. I'm going to title it Sebastian's Intro, and I'm going to save it wherever I want to save it. I'm going to click Save. Your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one stereo file. Okay, cool. That means they're not going to give me multiple files just because I have two tracks there. And uh, that's it. It's downloaded to my machine. I go back over here. Go downloads. Oh, let's see. Sebastian's intro. Open with. Hi, I'm Sebastian. Welcome to my podcast. This podcast is about podcasting, and I'm really glad that you tuned in. 
and that's it. I got an audio file there. Now it's, now it's not perfect. It's not perfectly edited. All the music isn't faded in, but I'm not an audio editor. I'm a podcaster. I have an editing team that handles my podcast content for me, but back in the day, I would, I would find hacks to be able to create my own stuff before hiring somebody. So, and that one of those hacks was downloading Audacity and figuring out this process that I just explained to you right here. Again, not an in-depth, I am not a sound engineer before all you comment keyboard warriors start to go completely bananas. This is a very basic podcast intro 101 on Audacity. There's a million and two options available here on Audacity to edit your tracks and add effects and all kinds of different stuff on here. It's entirely up to you. I just wanted you to understand exactly how to record an actual voiceover throw music behind it, and then export it so that you at least have something to work with. Remember, uh, an okay intro is better than no intro. And the same process, and I'm going to do another video on how to create a podcast outro with Audacity, but the same process for the outro could be done. You could just open up a new file. You're going to use the same music. Using different music would be, I don't know, a little weird, but you can do whatever you want. But I recommend using the same music, and you would just record a new audio track. They would say, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Give a call to action, and we'll talk to you next time. So hope this helps and hope you better understand exactly how to create just a basic intro. You can do it on your own. And Audacity is a great solution, especially if you're a PC user. It does work on Mac too, but uh, happy podcast intro. Well, friends, I hope you're leaving this video knowing at least one or two things that you did not know about creating a podcast intro in the software Audacity. If you got any questions about this video or any videos on this channel or anything pertaining to podcasting, please leave a comment below. I do respond to each and every one of you lovely individuals. I'm Sebastian Rusk, signing off from the podcast Launch Lab Studio. See you next time.